Hey everyone, I'm Liz Ferry and today I'm going to show you how I made these removable wigs for my dolls. This video is part 2 of my 3 part tutorial series on doll wigs. In part 1, I showed you how to make a basic middle part wig with straight hair. In part 2, I'll show you how to use different colors to get different effects, how to create different styles of hair partitions in your doll's wigs, and we'll also talk a little bit about making shorter or longer haired wigs. And in part 3, I'll show you how to curl, cut, and style the hair to customize your wigs even more. If you missed the first part of my wig series, I recommend that you watch that video first, since I showed all the basic techniques for making a wig, and I'll be using the same techniques to make the wigs for this video. First, let's talk about how to use different colors to make your wig. For the wig I made in the last video, I used this soft yellow yarn to make the wig one solid color. But if you want to make the wig more interesting, you could try using several different shades of the same color to add highlights. I like to mix the colors of yarn I use for my doll hair because it blends so nicely together after brushing, and it gives the hair a more natural look. For this silvery wig, I used two different shades of light gray yarn and a light purple yarn to add some color. After I cut my yarn to make the hair, I pulled apart each of the strands and mixed the different colored individual strands of each together to get a hair bunch of multiple colors. I added one individual strand of light purple, one individual strand of the darker silver, and two strands of the lighter silver to make each hair bunch for each weft. For this black wig, I used a bit of dark navy blue to add a blue shine to the hair. I did this one the same way, except I added three individual strands of black and one individual strand of navy for each bunch of hair on the weft. You could also make the hair with unnatural colors, since yarn comes in so many. You could use different colors when making your weft to add streaks of different colors, or you could use a variegated yarn to make the hair with a gradient of colors. Next I'll show you how to make different styles of hair partitions while making your wig. In the first video, I showed you how to make a basic middle part style wig. To do that, I added a weft of yarn around the base of the wig cap, then I added another weft slightly higher than the weft at the base, all around the wig cap. Then I added two thicker wefts on each side of the middle part. There's a ton of ways you could vary this to get different styles of hair partition. To make a wig with a side part, I would do the same thing, except I would add the two thicker rows to each side of the side part. If you like, you could also add an extra weft or two to the space in between the wefts at the base and the part of the wig, to fill out the hair a little more. I'm adding the wefts to the doll the same way I did last time, I'll pull each bunch of yarn through the wig cap, then I'll weave each bunch of yarn back through the stitches of the wig cap to tie them more securely in place. And for the partition wefts, just like I did for the middle part wefts, I'll add two strands of yarn to each bunch, to make each bunch of yarn thicker at the part. Then I added one thick weft down one side of the head. I placed mine on the right side, but you could do it on either side.
Then I added the second thick weft through the same stitches as the first one to make the hair for the other side of the wig cap. Then just pull apart the strands of yarn, brush, and straighten. If you want to make a doll with basic bangs, the hair part goes from one of the sides of the head to the other, instead of from the front of the head to the back. For this style, you can also add extra wefts in between the wefts at the base and the wefts at the partition if you want to add extra volume to the hair. So for the bangs, the two thicker wefts go across the head from side to side. This is actually just the side part wig turned sideways on the doll's head. Then brush one weft to the front of the face and brush the other to the back of the head. And to finish this style, I need to cut the bangs, but I'll show you more about cutting hair in the next video. Another way to add the wefts is in a swept back style. You can do this if you're brushing all the hair straight back from the front of the face, or if you're putting the hair in a bun or a ponytail. To do this style, I'll add a weft all the way around the wig cap at the base. Then I'll add another weft slightly higher up the wig cap all around. Then add a couple more wefts slightly higher up the wig cap all the way around. At the very top of the head, I'll add a thicker weft with all the strands of that weft coming out the same stitch at the very top middle of the head. I like to add this weft to the very top of the head, but if you're making a ponytail, a bun, or a braid, you can place this weft wherever you want the ponytail to go. Similarly to the partition wefts, I'll make this a thicker weft, but this time I'll just make one thicker weft with three strands per bunch this time, and with only 12 total bunches. This is to add volume to the hair at the top of the head without adding too much length to the weft base.
If you want to make a doll with heavy bangs, do the same thing. Make a swept back wig, and instead of brushing the hair back, brush the hair out from the top weft around the whole head. I'll brush some of the hair from the crown to the front of the face, some to the sides, and some to the back of the head. And again, I'll show you more about how to make wigs with bangs in the next video where I show you how to cut the hair. You could also make the hair longer or shorter to give the wig a different look. To make a shorter hairstyle, you could simply cut the yarn for the hair shorter when making your weft, Or you could use the technique I used in my short doll hair tutorial that I made a couple of months ago to create very short hairstyles. For this technique, just stitch all over the wig cap using the color you want the doll's hair to be, until you've completely covered the wig cap. I add my stitches in a zigzag pattern to keep the wig stretchy. I like to add two layers of stitching for this part. For adding highlights to this style of wig, I added a few stitches of the highlight colors all over the wig cap in the second layer of stitching. Then brush out the yarn. Or you could use a variegated yarn for this style of hair, which is what I did in my other video. or use this technique to make hairstyles that are partially shaved, which I'll show you how to do in the next part of the series. But if you want a more detailed explanation on how to do this technique, see my short doll hair tutorial. To make longer hair, though, it's a little more complex. If you simply cut the strands of your wefts longer and try to do the same technique we used in part one of the series, it won't always work. After a certain length, about three or four inches, the strands will start to break when you brush them out too much. This isn't too big a deal for straight hairstyles because the yarn will usually be long enough when it's straight. But if you're making a more curly style of hair, the yarn will get severely shortened by the curl. So if you want to make a doll with very long curly hair made out of yarn, you'll need to do it this way. So to make my doll's super long curly hair, I'm going to use this extra long piece of cardboard to cut the strands to the right size. I cut my cardboard to about 10 inches. So I'm just going to make the strands the same way I did in part 1 by wrapping the yarn around the cardboard until I have the same number of strands that I want for the first weft. Then cut through all the strands at the same side that I started on, to make strands of yarn that are double the length I want the hair to be. For this long pink wig, I made each hair bunch on my weft with several shades of pink. So I'll pull apart my strands, and I'll add two individual strands of this lighter shade of pink. And one of each of these two darker shades. Then I'll tie the bunches of yarn onto a thinner strand of yarn to make the weft. I'll tie the strand from the middle to make sure it's the same length on both sides. And then I'll add each weft to the wig cap. Alright, now my wig cap is full of long bunches of hair. Now, just like I did for my other wigs, I'm going to pull apart each strand of yarn. 
Since I use different yarn shades to make my hair bunches, they're already mostly separated, so I'll just finish the last ones. Now that I've finished pulling apart each strand of yarn, it's time to straighten and brush out the hair. I found after finishing with half of the wig, the hair brushes out more easily if you straighten the strands before brushing. So first I'm going to use the straightener at a low temperature, and I'm going to straighten the strands from the top of the head to the end of the hair. I'll do this a few times to get rid of that light crimp. And then I'm going to brush out the strands. I'm not going to brush out the entire strand though, like I've done with all the other wigs so far. For this wig, I'll just brush out the bottom 3 or 4 inches of each strand so that the yarn doesn't break. Then I'm going to straighten it again. So I'm going to use the hair straightener from the top of the strand all the way down to the end. Make sure you save all the fluff. And now this extra long wig is pretty much done. You could leave it like that, or you could curl the hair, which I'll show you how to do in the next video. I hope you liked this doll wig tutorial. If you did, give it a like and share it on social media. You can find more detailed instructions on how to add the wefts to the doll's wig in part one of this series, or check out part 3 if you want to further style the wig or add curls. Or if you like, you can also check out some of my older, more basic doll hair tutorials. If you want to see how I made the doll I used in this tutorial, you can find the link to the pattern in the description below. Or if you want to support my work, consider donating to my Patreon page. You can get some pretty cool perks through Patreon, like seeing my videos before everyone else. Find more information about that at patreon.com slash fairyrings. Be sure to let me know what you think of these wig techniques in the comments section. And if you use these techniques, I'd love to see your interpretation. Send me pictures at any of my social media pages, there'll be links in the description below. And if you want to keep seeing new videos like this in the future, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye!